I had hoped to talk about our total hoop house construction costs in my last hoop house update, but unfortunately I ran out of time. So I thought I'd cover that topic today, as well as share some design change ideas you might want to consider if you're thinking of building a similar hoop house. Let's start with the total cost. We built the hoop house over top of a 13 by 9 foot raised bed. We used wood to build the side walls and end walls, 3 quarter inch PVC pipe for the hoops, and 6 mil greenhouse plastic to cover the hoop house. Though we had some of these materials on hand, the costs I'll talk about today reflect total costs, including those items we already had. These numbers also reflect only the cost of the hoop house itself, and not the raised bed, low tunnels, and coal frames inside. We spent a total of $102.26 on lumber, which consisted of garden safe pressure treated 2x2s, 2x4s, and untreated pine 1x2s. We used 2x2s and 2x4s for the basic framing and 1x2s to secure the plastic. A number of materials were used to construct the hoops, including 3 quarter inch PVC, half inch EMT conduit, half inch rebar, PVC clamps, and white gorilla tape. The total cost for these materials came to $93.78. We bought our greenhouse film and PVC snap clamps from Greenhouse Megastore. We only used 37 feet of the 14 by 55 foot sheet that we purchased because the remaining film would be used for other projects and is not simply a waste product. I'll only count the amount of plastic actually used for this project. Which brings the total for greenhouse film and PVC snap clamps to $76.43. That takes care of our biggest expenses, but there are still a few more odds and ends. We spent approximately $30 on screws, bolts, and nails. We had a lot of these items already around the house, and I didn't track exactly what we used. So this is my best guess for what these materials cost. Finally, we spent $8.41 on door hardware, which consisted of two hinges and a latch and $2.54 on clear duct tape. That brings the total cost to only $313.42, which is less than I anticipated when I started the project. One of the reasons I decided to build our own hoop house rather than buying a kit was that we had very specific space requirements and I couldn't find a kit that met them. It also turns out that we saved quite a bit of money. When I look online for a hoop house or greenhouse of similar size and quality, I see that we easily could have spent one or two thousand dollars more than we did. If you'd like to see a complete breakdown of all of our expenses, please see the link in the description below. Now let's talk about some possible design changes you may want to consider if you're thinking of building a similar hoop house. First, you might want to use EMT electrical condo instead of PVC pipe for the hoops. EMT electrical condo will hold a heavier load and unlike PVC, it won't degrade greenhouse film when it comes into contact with it. I decided to use PVC pipe simply because I had used it in the past with success with our low tunnels. I also didn't want to buy a hoop bender to bend the metal pipe and was concerned I might have difficulty bending the pipes uniformly. That said, I'm sure with a little practice I'd have no trouble bending the pipes properly. And EMT electrical conduit would have been an excellent choice for the hoops. Next, you may want to consider spacing the hoops closer together to provide better support under a heavy snow. We have five hoops over a 13 foot span, which gives us a spacing of three and a quarter feet. Simply by adding one more hoop, the spacing would be narrowed down to just over two and a half feet, which would certainly provide better support for the plastic. You might also want to consider using one inch or heavier pipes instead of the three quarter inch pipes that we used. Finally, we use PVC snap clamps and 1x2 furring strips to secure the plastic to the hoop house. This approach is very inexpensive and works just fine, but it will involve some work when we remove the plastic from the top in the spring and then return it again in the fall. Investing in a product called Wiggle Wire would make this process a whole lot easier. Wiggle Wire works by pinching the plastic inside of a metal channel that's attached to a greenhouse or hoop house frame. To remove the plastic in the spring, all I'd have to do is remove the wiggly wire. This is a whole lot easier than removing all of the screws on our furring strips and also removing our snap clamps. This video concludes my hoop house build series in which I modified the size and shape of our winter garden bed, capped it with cedar, built new cold frames, 
and constructed a walk-in hoop house over the raised bed. I hope you enjoyed the series. This winter I plan to share our experience growing inside our unheated hoop house here in Zone 5. Well that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time. <music>